Right now, I am waiting for a car wash, and I'm going to talk to you about the craziest part of coronavirus. Taylor Jackson. Shooting 67 weddings last year. Taylor Jackson, welcome. So Taylor, you are well-known in this community. You're an amazing photographer. I have just spent my morning driving around looking for toilet paper, not necessarily because I actually need toilet paper, but because I wanted to know if what the media was reporting is actually true on coronavirus. We're gonna tie this into a thing in a second. And the major thing that I noticed was that for the most part, the stores are pretty much still as they would normally be on any given day, but just the toilet paper specifically is sold out. And that is the aisle that everyone is uploading photos from and creating more of this panic. I talked a lot about the media surrounding, I guess, the coronavirus and the entire situation, how it's really kind of just making a lot of anxiety where there shouldn't be anxiety, there should be actual facts and thoughts and actionable information rather than just hysteria. This is my favorite part where it's all the colorful stuff. It's all gone now never talk about it again. The thing that I want to talk to you today about specifically is something that I've actually been teaching on Patreon for years now, literal years, and that is scarcity when it comes to consumer behavior. And if there's only 10 photo sessions available, they're going to book a lot faster than if there's an infinite number of photo sessions available. It's kind of loud. The huge thing with consumer behavior really is that one, it's irrational. So if you're trying to appeal to rational emotions and rational facts, real comparisons and trying to set something up for the consumer to make it what seems to be a very easy decision and you're not talking about the irrational side of humans and purchasing, you are really going to be at a disadvantage. If I had to select what would be the most quintessential quote unquote dad moment, it's when you start going through the dryers and then you back up again through the dryers in the car wash. We continue our conversation out here. So the one big takeaway if you want to stop this video right now and just go out into the world with something that's actually going to sell you things is to really lock down how much you're offering yourself for wedding photographers. Scarcity is kind of built in intrinsically into our business that there's only so many Saturdays in a wedding season. So if somebody is getting married on a prime June, July, August date in the Northern Hemisphere, there's a pretty good chance that they already know that they're going to have to be a little bit competitive in order to hire you. But there is nothing wrong with reminding them the fact that everything is first come first serve. I have had a lot of couples that have been kind of, hmm, we should book Taylor, like maybe we'll meet with three other photographers first. And within that time, somebody else comes in and they're like, hey Taylor, I've been following you for a bunch of years, I'd love to book you right now. And reminding people that that is a possibility is not a bad thing. In fact, it kind of only helps them if they knew that I was the right decision and they were just kind of like calming their fears. If there's that little push that you can do to make them make the right decision faster, uh, they will probably actually appreciate that from you because they're not gonna be spending their time looking at all these different vendors and going all around town wasting their time and well, there is a chance that there will be some buyer's remorse if you push this too fast, if you do like the full out real estate tactics, like I have 10 more people looking at your date right now, you better book a 5% discount if you sign right now. Uh, you're gonna probably run into a little bit of pushback whenever people sign a contract and then they're a little bit hesitant for the next couple of days and they send you some weird messages and they try to get out of your contract. But if it's just a subtle push and a subtle reminder of that scarcity, uh, it's always going to be a good thing for your business. If you're in the family and portrait space, releasing limited numbers per month of just even if they're at regular price, if you only do 15 sessions a month, make that known. Make sure that people are aware that you do that limited number, that you are not an unlimited resource. They can't book you whenever they want. They have to book more on your terms. And to wrap all of this up and to bring this back to the, we've been on a journey together. We've been to grocery stores. We've not seen toilet paper. We've seen a little bit of toilet paper. We've been to a car wash together. I really feel a deep connection now. And the big thing is just to know that scarcity is something that does make people do irrational things and purchase things that they might not necessarily need right then necessarily. In the case of this coronavirus COVID-19 thing, Basically, that one grocery store sold out, so that means that people are now in this panic to make sure that they get their resources, that they stockpile what they need to survive this, uh, this epidemic or pandemic, I suppose. So from a business standpoint, again, what I've been teaching on Patreon for years now is to make sure that there is scarcity built into your business model, that you're not just available for everything. And this, I feel like, goes into also the levels that you compete on, that if you're a wedding photographer, be a wedding photographer, don't be a wedding photographer. And also, I do aerial sports. Aerial sports is a very specific genre of photography. But don't do 15 different 
types of photography and then try to be like, but there's only 10 weddings available this year because people aren't going to feel any sort of scarcity. It's not going to position you as any sort of a luxury brand or a desirable brand. But if you do one thing and you release it in limited quantities, people will lose their mind and book you as fast as possible. So do with this what you will. I am going to drive back home now and eat a slice of pizza. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you want more business knowledge, if you're just locked in your house right now and you're working from home and you have nothing really to do in your free time because all sports and everything are canceled, uh, consider signing up for my Patreon page. There is a lot of stuff on there. There's hours and hours and hours, probably like 100 hours, maybe 200, 300. I don't even know. There's a lot of hours of stuff on there and you can search it now, uh, which you weren't able to do in the past. So Patreon used to be, that you'd have to do the infinite scroll to find the content you want. But now if you want to search for my pricing document, you just type in pricing and it shows up. Or you want to find my contract, type in contract, it shows up. If you want my presets, type in presets and it shows up. So it's very easy and there's a lot of content and just by signing up for the one month, so for the $30 that you sign up, you get instant access to absolutely everything. So for $30, you're really kind of getting approximately, I added up a little while ago, I think it was like four or $5,000 worth of education and courses that I've released because I release courses um, on Patreon that are also standalone purchases as well that some of them are like $299 to buy on their own, but they're included in Patreon and Patreon's $30. Um, and to involve some sort of scarcity, there are different tiers to Patreon. So basically when I began it and there was no content on it, it was very a limited price and then it kind of got up as there was more content. And as we get into the summer, it's going to be going up in price again. So um, make sure you sign up now. And if you do find it beneficial, which a lot of wedding photographers do, uh, stick around because it is going to get more expensive than you'll always be locked in the lower tiers. So yeah, that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I am going to go find that pizza now. Goodbye.